Hi, I'm Stuart McMillan, the SNP candidate for Greenock and Inverclyde. During my time as the local MSP, constituents have raised transport issues with me, particularly the condition of the trunk road network and also public transport. I've hosted Transport Scotland officials for drive around tours of the constituents to actually highlight my concerns and emphasise the need for improvements in our road infrastructure. I've also conducted surveys to gather information about how the local population feel about the trunk network and also have used this information to further highlight the need for local investment. Now, both of these strategies have led to resurfacing of several stretches of the A8 and A78, including the westbound approaches to the New Ark and Bull Ring roundabouts and also Pottery Street. If re-elected, I will continue to work with Transport Scotland to highlight how improvements can be made. And I encourage Inverclyde residents to make Amy, the contractor who actually manages the roads, aware of any trunk road problems. While keeping pressure on the Agency for Investment is vital, so are other initiatives, including a bypass which has been spoken about for many years. Improving parking at local train stations would also help encourage public transport use, which is why I proposed a park and ride facility at Spangle Valley as part of my submission to the Local Development Plan. I want to see an additional hourly train service on the Weems Bay line to help reduce vehicles on the road. And furthermore, if the Inverkip power station site is developed as proposed, then additional rail services will become even more crucial. And for the avoidance of any doubt, I do not support the development of the power station site as proposed. The sequencing of local traffic lights is also a big issue, and after raising this with Transport Scotland, a review was carried out last year to examine traffic flows, signal apparatus, infrastructure layouts, and also signal timings. Also in my submission to Transport Scotland's second national transport strategy, I also called for a national ferry building strategy that includes Ferguson Marine and more local cycle routes to encourage active travel. If re-elected, the SNP will provide free bikes for all school pupils who can't afford them, remove the majority of fossil fuel buses from public transport by 2023, and create a greener, more affordable railway. The SNP have also protected the free bus pass for over 60s and will extend it to under 22s. We will also invest over £500 million to improve bus infrastructure and tackle congestion and will establish a community bus fund to help local bus services. By bringing ScotRail into public hands from next year, we will also decarbonise our rail services by 2035. And that's why on the 6th of May I'm asking you to vote Macmillan to make it both votes SNP so we can deliver a green transport revolution that ensures accessible and affordable options while reducing our carbon footprint.